slouching for long periods is very harmful to the back. After slouching for 30 minutes, the pressure on the rearmost disc rings increases threefold. You sit safely by keeping your back locked, but also by adding variations. Avoid staying in the same position for too long. Change position regularly. Stand upright and move. This way you change the pressure in your discs and the discs are refreshed, and your muscles will then also be able to relax a little. Alternate between active and passive sitting. With active sitting, you keep your back in its natural hollow position and let your back muscles work. Alternating with passive sitting is therefore a welcome relief. With passive sitting, you also keep your back hollow, but you lean against the backrest of your chair. However, ensure that the backrest of the chair supports the hollow of your back sufficiently. The position of your feet and legs has an important impact on your posture. When you put your feet forward, you assume a passive posture more quickly. And when you place your feet under the chair, you assume an active posture more quickly. When you place your feet deep under your chair, your upper legs will tilt forwards, so that the pelvis tilts more forward and your back becomes hollow. An outstretched posture with the legs and back in line can also be a good variation. For example, when you use the telephone. When you lean your arms on the armrests of your chair or on your desk, the strain on your back will be minimised. Standing up from a slouched position brings the weight forward and increases the strain on the rearmost parts of the vertebrae. Therefore, it is not only important to be aware of how you sit, but also of how you sit down and stand up. Try then to use the straight line or the weightlifter technique. When you stand up from a sitting position, start from the active sitting position and lean on your armrests or on your knees and push yourself up. This way you automatically come into the straight line posture or the weightlifter's technique. When you turn your chair a quarter turn and lean on your desk and your chair, you can also stand upright with the weightlifter's technique. When sitting in a chair, it is just as important to lean when you open a drawer or, for example, pick up a paper from under your desk.